Corey's here to start another adventure. Right now, I'm trying to get down all this decayed uh, headliner stuff. It's like the soft, cushiony stuff that goes under the headliner to make it more comfortable. And I've been using this broom to get it down. <sighs> oy, oy, oy. I just ripped this off of here. Uh, it was hanging by a thread, so I didn't really need to do much. So what I'm going to do is take a ratchet and get these out, these bolts done, and pull this out. Because it can be salvageable, so I'll reuse this. Alrighty, let's get started. Now the back one. Alrighty. There you go. I'll uh, clean this off. So right now, my goal is to get the fenders off. Ready, I got one bolt, now I gotta get the other. Here's something I did with the help of Mama Kmart with those small sandwich bags, those Ziploc bags. I put the screws for certain areas of the car, organize them, you got the hood bolts, and then you got the front bolts, and then I got smaller ones here, I'm gonna put in a smaller bag. I got the marker, I marked them, and also the ratchet size, 14 mm, 14 millimeter. Uh, marked the date. But yep, I think it's a good idea. So right now I'm removing the bolts from the wheel well uh, to remove the fender, the uh, driver's side, left side fender. While I'm doing that, I thought I'd let you guys know I did the Carfax on the Caprice. It was last on the road August 15, 2006, 17 years ago. Which is also interesting because in 2006, 1989 was 17 years ago, and that's when the Caprice rolled off the assembly line. I also learned that the damage it received in the accident isn't that severe. I got three out of four fender screws out, or bolts. It's just this one right here is being difficult. <laughs> 